Greetings, my name is Daniel. In this video, we'll show you how to create renderings with AutoCAD. Let's first take a look under the hood at the rendering engine that comes with AutoCAD. It's divided up into several different palettes. The four basic palettes are lighting, materials, material library, and rendering properties. Let's go ahead and close these and do a quick rendering. To begin a rendering, you type render at the command line. The rendering process isn't bad from AutoCAD, but let's switch tools and improve on this. The rendering software we're going to use is called Next Render. What we do is we type NXT at the command line and it brings up a single palette which controls our lighting materials and render settings. Out of the box, Next Render does a really good job with its default lighting, but let's improve on this by adding materials and changing our view and improving on the lighting. There are hundreds of materials to choose from. These materials can be downloaded at accurender.com or accustudio.com. You can also get them from nextrender.com. To load the materials, you simply click the little folder icon, select the materials that you want, and then click open. To assign them, you drag and drop from the material selector onto your model. In a later tutorial, we'll show you how to create materials. For now, let's move on to lighting. Next render includes several lighting presets, exterior, interior, and studio. We're going to use exterior for this tutorial. Next Render's lighting lets you control the sun. You can control it by calendar date or manually adjust it. We'll use a calendar date in April. You also control how the sky looks with Next Render. There's several options for that. We're going to use the defaults for now. Let's explore the unique features of Next Render ground planes and plants. These tools can be found under the little, little widget icon in the toolbar. Let's select a ground plane. It's an AutoCAD object that is an infinite and we can assign it to any layer and set it at any elevation. Now let's select a plant and add those to our model. There are several library collections of plants that can be downloaded from accurender.com and also accustudio.com. I've already downloaded them. Let's switch our view to thumbnail to make it easier to make our selection. Once you choose your plant, they insert like any other object into AutoCAD. The plants are fractal, so they regenerate very quickly. We've assigned our materials, our lighting, our plants, and even used the standard AutoCAD camera to create our view. Now let's click the green race car to start our rendering. Depending on how fast your processor is, is how long your model will take to render. One of the challenges of using the standard AutoCAD camera is you can see getting the picture centered correctly. Let's jump to another tool of Next Render called Walkabout View. That's the little foot. Click on it and we'll be entering that dialog box. Walkabout starts with your standard camera view where you left off, but it uses simple mouse gestures to let you adjust your view and then save it so that every time you open AutoCAD and Next Render, your view is saved. Let's add a background image to it to give a little more realistic sky. And then let's begin the rendering process from here. A photorealistic rendering using exterior lighting can take less than 10 minutes depending on your resolution. But let's switch to a different lighting style. Let's close Walkabout and then go to the Lighting tab. We're going to select Studio Lighting which uses HDRI files. These have inherent lighting properties that Next Render understands. Studio lighting can take a little longer than exterior lighting. That's because of the multiple light sources, but it is softer and gives you a different feel to the rendering. Thank you for watching this video on how to do quick renderings in AutoCAD with Next Render. To download your trial version or purchase it, visit nxtrender.com. Thank you.